Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of um, July the 31st through to August the 6th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana Moon in reverse. Next, we have Major Arcana, the um, Magician in the upright, followed then by the Five of Wands. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the star in the upright you have three major arcana here could be a bit of an intense week for you taurus let's see what's going on your overall energy nine of pentacles in the upright position while well, this is uh the strong independent person card uh it can be for some of you perhaps you're being fiercely independent this week and maybe you just do not want to um you know listen to anybody or be around anybody that uh is you know, trying to be contrary to you and you're just sort of shutting them out. That could be the case for some of you. Uh, just don't let that fierce independence go too far to the point where you're not accepting uh, honest help. Uh, if people are coming around and they're really honestly trying to assist you and you really could use that help, don't be too independent and push them away. For others of you, the Nine of Pentacles can represent a bit of a step up financially from where you were. Perhaps you were only, you were working really hard at the Eight of Pentacles and now you might have gotten, some of you may have gotten a little bit of an upgrade in your pay, you could have gotten a raise or perhaps a better job that pays a little bit more. It's really nice, uh, strong, independent. It, it represents a lot of security and stability. You may be feeling really uh, secure, especially if you've been feeling a little bit financially insecure lately. This week you could see a change up in that and be feeling much better. Now, coming right into the week, we do see Pisces energy here, the moon in the reverse position. The moon in the upright position is all about that misunderstandings, deception, um, not seeing things clearly, self-deception, all kinds of things like that. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we finally see things for what they are. It could be a clearing up of a misunderstanding that happened recently. It could be you just looking at a situation and seeing something different now than you saw before. It could be something is brought to your attention that you didn't notice before. And now all of a sudden you see the light you see things very very clearly the next card up is the beautiful magician in the upright position i do love the magician because it's as above so below we manifest all the time look at the beautiful yellow in this card representing the solar plexus which is the card of your will it's the card of of manifestation or not sorry not card but color of manifestation the solar plexus is what we use in order to bring about certain manifestations because without that confidence we can't really manifest a lot we can wish there's a difference between wishing and hoping and actual manifestation so it seems like this week you could be focused in on something now in order to bring about something that we're trying to manifest we really need to focus and concentrate and kind of put the blinders on we all have the ability to do it it's just every once in a while we get into that mode and that's usually when the magician card will come up for us it's because we really, really want to bring something. Now, for some of you, it could be a relationship. For others of you, it could be uh, better health. For others of you, it could be manifesting a new job, a place to live, whatever it is that your situation requires. You could be feeling very, very confident and ready to bring this about into your experience. Really nice. I like that energy a lot. Yeah, actually you have like a lot of yellow, even your overall energy, right? The nine of pentacles is, so it could be quite possible that your, uh, your confidence is very, very strong this week. Moving towards the weekend, we do have the Five of Wands here in the upright position. Everybody knows, not my favorite energy, because oftentimes the Five of Wands can represent that um, 
sort of he said she said nonsense that happens before the full moon i always uh, warn people about that that week before the full moon where people can get all up in arms sometimes over the silliest things uh big misunderstandings can happen big you know pitting against each other and then after the full moon is over the energy kind of diffuses and then people don't care about it anymore so if that's the case i always suggest people if somebody is starting one of these things up, like maybe remove yourself from it, especially online. Do we need to get involved in every Facebook fight or every online uh, dispute that's going on? We don't. Or even it's a squabble that's going on in our own family or our friends group or neighborhood. We don't need to be involved in every little thing. Obviously, if it's something that means a lot to you and is important to you and affects your life, you may want to pipe in. But if it's something just really frivolous, like I always suggest people just take their leave, move, step away from the drama. So that could be going on for some of you. For others of you, this could represent stiff, it does represent stiff competition. So maybe for some of you, this would make sense. If you are dealing with a situation where say you are applying for a job or a position where there's a lot of other people applying, it could be that the, the competition is stiff. It, even competition happens in, in the romantic sense. Sometimes there's a lot of people fighting over one person. So so there could be a situation like that going on. Again, it's going to be different for all of you. Just take what makes sense in your own situation. But there could be a lot of, you know, jockeying for a position or uh, people just squabbling. So let us know in the comment section below, which one is it for you? Is this happening at all? Or can you see this happening if you're seeing it ahead of time? Um, yeah, just pipe in. We want to hear from you. <laughs> the last card you have here is the Aquarius energy, the star in the upright position. This is all about having that hope, that faith where we just know that something is going to happen. Now, it could, I feel strongly for some of you, it is connected to the magician energy something you are manifesting and it could be towards the end of the week. Maybe you're sensing or you're seeing some kind of sign that tells you whatever it was that you were working so hard at manifesting is about to happen. That's what the star card is all about. It's yes, it's the major arcana's version of the wish card, wish upon a star. It's uh, you can manifest your wish, but it's also and mainly an energy of just knowing it's pure faith the star card is. It's about just knowing and feeling and sensing that something that we are trying to bring into manifestation is about to happen. Now, this is going to leave you with a bit of a cliffhanger because it's the last card here. So you'll have to let us know. Come back to the reading after the fact and let us know. Did uh, you sense something that actually played out? Um, <clears throat> Because that's what the star card is all about. It's all about just sensing you could be waking up uh, in the morning towards the weekend and just feeling or sensing, just knowing that everything is going to be okay. It's also a very nice energy for healing of any kind, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual healing. So that's what I have for you, my dear Taurus. I hope you have a fantastic week and can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section. <laughs> I also hope that the reading helped you. So if it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next weekend. Thanks for joining me. Much love. Bye-bye for now.